you go down to draw today, you better sharpen your pencil. Cause if your pencil is dull and you draw, everything will be kind of blurry, not like you saw. That's why we sharpen our pencils uh, before we get down to the stream. Check one, two in the microphone. Check. Tear. Oops. Test. Hmm. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, everything's working. Drove downtown in the rain, 9.30 on a Tuesday night, just to check out the late night, recording shops, go to buy records, need some records, to play some tunes, put them on and with them I will croon, drinking my juice. Hey, Space Goonie, hello there as well. <clears throat> All right, still didn't get a new eraser, but uh, everything else seems to be where it needs to be. Got markers ready. Pat, let's art, let's art with Pat. What, let's art, art Pat with what, Pat, Pat, your art, art Pat, hey. hey. Uh oh, all right, quick pre-stream question. I was about to hit the intro button. Do you have the creative cloud? Uh, yeah, as far as I know, I use it. I have Flash and Photoshop and Illustrator, and I pay for it. So every few days it's like, hey, you need to update your Acrobat. And I'm like, who needs to update back Acrobat at all? It just needs to open and make PDFs. I have not tried Character Animator. I keep meaning to, but then I have work, but I feel like it's exactly what I need. I think that robot face means I was right, and I should be honest. Let's start this thing and talk about Character Animating. Thank you, Ripley, for a shotgun. Yep, in sync. Got a shotgun full of confetti. Hello, Fat Ken. Hi, Space Goody, and hi, Pat. Um, got to adjust my camera? Oh, I guess it's perfect. Uh, yeah, I keep seeing the little ad when I use Flash or Adobe Animator, um, and uh, all I can think is, Oh wow, that sounds exactly like what I want and need. Like basically some, some basic shape morphing would make my day a thousand times easier, better, have funner animation uh, without having to physically do a, a whole bunch of stuff. And, and especially for what I do at work, it would come in handy so much. But just like uh, with Bones, uh, he said to the people who are Flash nerds, uh, when they added Bones to Flash... And to this day, I've never heard anybody say, hey, you using the bones in Flash and just like building stuff and then using bones to move things around like it's 3D. It's so great and it works awesome. Like <clears throat> three people have said it's great. And those were always people that are like, you don't know what you're talking about. The stuff you're doing is not good. The system doesn't work. Uh, and then people like Pat, who I trust that say like, nah, man, these bones, these bones are gross. And that was the other thing. It's like, it is a separate program, but like, is it, 
is it like flash with character animation or like am i am i exporting swfs of these things into flash to use later so many questions i should should go watch the uh working with adobe character animator stream or pat's next stream uh adobe character animation for curtis uh let me just adjust my phone so that it doesn't keep shutting off so that i can see what's being said display and brightness never turn off never surrender a photoshop file oh you're breaking my brain pat you're breaking my brain over here oh man Oh, for the love of fun. I fully moved that light uh, when I pushed that chair out of the way. I need a good old-fashioned reaching stick. Hey, Ripples. You there? Hi, sweet angel. Call it compulsive. Call it a light. Got to adjust it so it doesn't look like it's nice. I feel like that's not oops not in the right place i don't know what am i some sort of lighting technician over here no i'm not you can rig it by naming it keywords oh my god you're talking crazy sides patrick you're talking crazy sides anyway as always first i start with a circle and a head shape and there's a little line to show where the center of the, the head's going to be. All very standard stuff. Very standard stuff for those of you following along at home. And then after I do that part, I don't follow any more drawing rules. And people are disgusted by the way that I make things a lot of the time. Like, Why don't you start with a line of action first? I don't know. I don't know. I never have. That's too late for me now. I guess I never will. Hmm. Just, uh, just realizing I'm drawing this on the wrong side of the page. All the action goes in the other way. But she's looking this way, so I... And an extra fun secret, uh, when I have a big splotch of color in the background of something, it's often not because this is a great artsy idea, it's because, hey, I started the drawing somewhere else and then erased it and I gotta cover that up with a big splotch of color. All right. Circle. Head shape. And of course, we're going to turn this person into a uh, robot at some point in the proceedings. In, uh, I don't know, Curtis News, whatever we want to call it. Do, 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 do. This week in Curtis News. Crazy people seem to have moved out. Another crazy person seems to have, I don't know, maybe some sort of police mandated, you're not allowed to take crazy pills anymore, because uh, she's still here, but I haven't seen her be even remotely crazy since the last time I saw her be crazy. Does she seem completely stable and awesome? No. No, she still seems like uh, a weird old lady that will still say and do odd things, but she won't sit on the stairwell and scream and cry them into your face. Um, you know, because it's a Tuesday afternoon. So what happens at Casa de Curtis when we don't have any crazy people to talk about? They're just not being crazy. They're not being crazy. Step one. Step one. You just invite a crazy person over. Or you wait for a crazy person to say, Hey, can I come visit you? And uh, you say, Yes, crazy person. Come on over. And normally I say, no crazy person, nobody come visit me. Uh, I'm in my tower of judgment, judging everybody uh, on the outside, not on the inside. But uh, my crazy best friend Amanda came down for the weekend, or not for the weekend, for after the weekend, 
because uh, it's Easter. And, um, oh man, literally, literally have just, just from those two days, I, I want to say a thousand, you know, at least a couple hundred insane, insane, just not even anecdotes, not even stories, just weird little factoids about crazy people that she knows because the people she knows are just as nutty or the people around where she is or, or are, are as crazy as this building. They're just a little more spaced out. Um, and they're too crazy. They're too crazy. Like, I've told you the craziest stories, and uh, most of them just like, no, I will never repeat. <laughs> These people are nuts. And I, in no way, shape, or form, uh, want any record of me telling other people how crazy they are. Uh, too crazy. But, um, Amanda, uh, who's not watching this, so pfft, odds of her finding out me talking about her, uh, slim to none other than I'll probably just tell her if this is what I told the internet about you, uh, this week. So, <clears throat> why am I not measuring anything? Mm -hmm. Okay. do this all the time where I'll just start drawing something instead of like I'm it, it kind of looks like I'm planning what I'm doing <clears throat> but I'm actually just drawing straight ahead uh, for some reason uh, well for some reason I was what when well this was like last week when I was watching The Incredible Hulk and I thought oh I should draw Edward Norton then I tried to find pictures of Edward Norton I'm just like these will all just look like some random guy. They're not going to come across as Edward Norton unless I really try. <clears throat> and I'm just kind of looking to, to doodle right now. But in looking for Edward Norton pictures, a bunch of Brad Pitt pictures show up as Tyler Durden. And I'm like, oh my god. I was like, these Tyler Durden pictures are so Tyler Durden that even without trying, they'll still look like Tyler Durden. So I'm just going to do a quick Tyler Durden sketch. And because it's so Tyler Durden... Uh, I'm not even, I'm not going to plan anything, no head straight shape, no structure, just drawing what I see. And it just looked like a grade five drawing. It was, it's awful. It's awful. <laughs> I almost just watched, uh, a, basically a screen rant documentary about Edward Norton, and I guess he, I, I couldn't get through it, like, the way they go through it was like, what about this? Why would this happen? What about this thing? Like, just tell me the thing. Stop asking questions and just say the answer. I'm here for the answer. Don't, I don't need 15 minutes of questions. I hate this documentary. Uh, so I turned it off. But I did learn that uh, apparently Ed Norton uh, has a feud, and he was very difficult in the making of uh, Incredible Hulk, I guess. So, I don't know, and, and, and apparently it's not over. Apparently it's not over. But I think we can all assume <clears throat> that uh, the reason that little documentary came out is because I was talking about um, what you call it, Incredible Hulk last week. Hey, hello, Wapo. See you later. Um, and I'm pretty much, you know, I'm the center of the internet zeitgeist. Like, whatever I'm talking about, that's what everyone else is talking about. Like, I'm, I'm the Ellen of the streaming world to uh, everybody. Maybe, maybe it's just two people. Maybe it's everybody. Who am I to say? Who am I to judge? This looks insane when you draw it. What's going on? Uh, 
That's not right. So anyway, uh, Amanda used to live here. We used to live here when we went to college a thousand years ago. So uh, we're just like driving around, looking at all the old places and, and whatnot. And she's like, oh my God, like, well, where, where, where's this place? Like, that was like, oh, like crazy far away, right? Like, I can't believe you walked there. I'm like, oh no, that's right over there. Like behind that tree, that's where that is. Like, what? That, that must have been only like a 10 minute walk. Like, everything was a 10 minute walk. Uh, apparently when we went to college, we were either very stupid or incredibly lazy because everything is 10 minutes away. Other than walking into where the mall is, like that's 10 minutes on top of the 10 minutes, like a 20 minute walk. But everything else is just like, well, what about this place? It's right behind this building. Like every single thing she asked for was always just on the next street or just behind whatever she was looking at. And, uh, <clears throat> one of those things was like, was the hospital like well where's the hospital like that was like way up there like nope the store we used to go to uh just to get snacks whenever uh was here why we went on like ugh, no nah, not tonight like pff, not going all the way out there uh it's yeah it's it's just like down the street it's ridiculously close and then the hospital's like across the street from that not way down the road it's right there um i was like but anyway that's all boarded up like, what? It was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess the, the hospital's been shut down for a little while. Anyway, there's, like, a super new one. Do-do-do-do-do. She's like, well, I have to go, you know, I have to see it. Like, all right, like, go to drive by. And she's like, I'm driving up there. Like, all right, I've never, I don't think in my whole life, driven up around this hospital. Um, now when there's a lot of fencing up, definitely the best time. So we go up. It's, like, mostly, like, fully boarded up except for, like, the top two or three floors where you can see that there's definitely still stuff in there. Like there's still all the lamps, all the, the shelving. It's still, you know, they clearly just kind of like left, like we're done. We're done hospitaling. Now we're going to the new hospital. No, leave all this stuff. It's disgusting. Sick people touched it. So we're just kind of looking around. She drives around past any sort of fencing or whatever. Like it wasn't, nothing was like blocked off. Like you could easily just drive up there and go around and then connect back to the other street. So it was like, this is, I, I see no problem with this. We're not going to get out of the car. We're not going to go climbing the side of the building. We're not going to pry any wood off and try to get in. Now, you know, if we didn't just pass like a security person who clearly works there, who knows, maybe she would have. Uh, and I would have been like, no, we're not doing this. Actually, at first it was like, no, before you even think of it, if you can get into this place, that place is full of people that, you know, we don't want to cross paths with, for sure. Like, that would be a hobo paradise. I'm just a massive hobo hotel. Uh, so either they're keeping people out, or there's a bunch of them in there, and we don't want to go in there. So either way, quick drive-by, let's go. Half expecting to see people in the windows, like, this is weird. Middle of the day, no reason to be terrified. This pose is weird. Um, <clears throat> so then, like I said, we're just kind of doing a circle around this big parking lot. We're nowhere near the building. Nowhere near the building. We're closer to the street that exits. There's a, a set of train tracks, some random person walking down the train tracks. No reason to be like, hey, excuse me, I need to police this area. Get out of here. I'm the law. But then suddenly, out of nowhere, boop, this, uh, this person pops up behind Amanda with like, a uh, uh, like what what could have been a ticket uh, writing book and it's like wait they can't do do that that's just a security guard this isn't a cop so we're not getting a ticket but they do want to take notes it seems and I noticed that they had uh, uh, the the notebook itself was in like a Batman uh, with a bunch of bat symbols on it like notebook cover thing whatever that is. And uh, I'm like, I think we're fine. I don't think somebody with a, a Batman uh, 
no taking thing is going to call the police on us or do anything weird. But anyway, uh, the reason we stopped was, uh, sorry, we came around and it's like about to leave. And then a bunch of deer just came out of nowhere and we're just standing there on the train tracks. And Amanda's like, oh my God, like deer. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah, of course there's deer. There's always deer. There's deer in just stand anywhere in the middle of town and a deer will walk by. That's just the way this town is. Uh, and that's the security guard showed up like, oh, hey, like you're on private property. <clears throat> and the crazy thing is Amanda wasn't like, oh, sorry, we'll leave now. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, there's some deer over here. So I'm taking a picture. Like, let me tell you what I'm doing. I see what you're doing. You're trying to, you know, be the security guard for this area. But I'm taking pictures of deer. So when I'm done doing that, then you can go back to security guarding this place and I'll be gone. She didn't say it like that, of course, but uh, that's how I hear things. Um, oh, man. Beep. I just don't know how to draw this foot without it seeming crazy. So then, of course, uh, there was like three deer, then there was four deer. One, uh, the, the lady came up the tracks. Uh, one deer got spooked. And then that's when we noticed, oh, it just joined the rest of the deer. And there was about, I, I can't remember now, like 12 or 13 deer just hanging out. And she's just like losing her mind. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I, I do love it when I see deer wandering around. But I'm like, I'm not like losing my mind over this at all. <laughs> I've seen it so much. So the guy tells us that the hospital was shut down because it's full of asbestos. So, I, you know, he's basically there to keep anybody from going in and getting uh, asbestos poisoning. And that all the deer are in town because of so much clear cutting and whatever. There's no place for the deer to go. And I'm like, oh, we definitely should have like a deer park, like the same as the dog park, just a park, you know, just for deer. Because uh, clearly they need it. And, you know, I'm sure they're just wandering around eating everybody's stuff. Why am I trying to draw real people feet when this is going to be a robot? Oh my god, idiot. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of asbestos, a lot more asbestos buildings than I ever thought there was. But like, I feel like when... There, why was I drawing toes like an idiot? Like when, when I went here and it's like, oh, I got to go to the hospital. We were like, oh, geez, like you should better off going to another town. Like you're just going to die in that hospital because of what I blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess they were talking about asbestos probably. Yeah, we don't have a forest now, so we, we gotta we gotta make an artificial one just for the deer. Uh, the deer do apparently actually. Did I see one? I think I did. Um, the the deer go to the dog park that's just down the street here, and no, I don't think I didn't see one. I see one like vault towards the fence, and I think it still went somewhere else. But yeah, the old guy that was there was like, oh yeah, they just like just burp, just spring over the fence, no problem. Eat all the grass, poop everywhere, and then go on their way. So I mean. They already like it. They already like a dog park, so... Or just make a bigger dog park that uh, everybody can share with the deer. But the main thing that makes her crazy... <laughs> Is and I'm sure I've told it probably on this stream before, but when I first moved here, uh, first ever time taking a cab, never ever ever been in a cab, and she's like, yeah, yeah, we'll just take a cab over the mall. Like, I don't know how far the mall is. I don't know how far cabs cost, <laughs> and even more so, get in and there's no meter. It's just, or no, no, there was a meter. Yeah, it's Miramichi where there's no meters. Um, and the meter's just going, and I'm like, I can't tell how fast or how slow this thing is going, what's going to happen. 
Um, but I mean, right away, as soon as we get in, it's like, I mean, definitely not a car that can actually pass an inspection. You know, we're sitting in, in the seat, like you just go down, down, down. It was like, oh my God, I've never felt so close to the ground in my life. Same thing, he's practically sitting in the back seat with us. The seat goes back so far. Everything just feels like it's kind of covered with fabric or towels or blankets. Like nothing is nothing is good. Nothing is good, but he was real nice and everything was fine. I mean, still nothing felt dangerous. Just like this is this is a garbage dump that I'm taking a drive in. That's fine. I don't have a garbage dump to drive in, so you win, cab driver guy. But that's the time that minute one, we get in and Amanda starts uh, with the, I don't know, Kurt, like, for one, just don't, if, you know, have, have fun. Have fun if you want. Don't use my real name. Oh, my God. Uh, but she's like, but I don't know. She's like, well, I, I, don't know if, I don't know if that body's hidden enough. Like, I just don't even know. I just don't trust it. And I'm looking at her like, don't do this. Like, don't. What are you doing? I, I don't know, in my head, it is like, we're in a car, we're in, that's a business, it might as well be a police officer. Like, I, I don't I don't know the chain of command of everybody. And in my head, it is just like, if you're a thing, you're probably basically a cop. And if people are talking about murder, um, I don't know, they'll, they'll do something about it, maybe? She's going on like, yeah, I just, I think somebody might find that body. And I mean, there was so much blood and the knife. I mean, the knife, like, yeah, I, you know, did you even really, or, you know, uh, something about getting rid of the knife, basically. It's like, we still have to get rid of the knife or it's still whatever. I'm just like, don't like stop this. I'm just like, she's, she's just a crazy person. Like she just says crazy stuff like this, this, that's just what happens. Um, and, uh. And this is this is just what's fun for her is trying to ruin my life like that's just what she does and that's our fun that's what we do anyway please please don't believe her and uh, and what I've learned about cab drivers is is a they don't care about nothing They'll, all they care about is ah I've heard worse hey what do you believe the things that I've heard um, okay so so then you're an accomplice to actual murders then probably or actual hor horrific crimes because if you've seen everything and done nothing then you're just as bad as these two uh, supposed killers in your car. Uh, people's hands are weird sometimes. Nothing like that. Uh, uh, well, not around me, anyway. <laughs> Her boyfriend, on the other hand, a lot of times I don't envy him. He's got a lot of stories. We're just like, and then Amanda did this, and then she starts saying that, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. He's like, you're not even surprised by this, like, oh yeah, no, this is like what you're married to now, guy. Good luck. See you later. But it was always normally just, you know, acty type stuff like that. Uh, and I think, I don't know, it's her fault I would do anything as crazy as I would do. Because uh, she would be the one that's just like, let's just ask this person. Like, you can't just walk up to people in the world and ask them questions. It's like, yeah, it's the only way. Let's go. Uh, because one day she had her hair done in some weird way. And we are walking through town. And I can't remember what movie it was, but it's like, uh, it wasn't Anne of Green Gables, but let's just say it looked just like Anne of Green Gables to me. And she was like, what? No, it doesn't. Like, what are you even talking about? Like in this movie and this thing, like your hair is exactly that movie. It was like, if, if we asked anybody, I promise they would say, oh yeah, yeah, you look exactly like that character right now. I was like, no, you're nuts. 
So it was like, all right, fine. And then somebody ended up either just ahead of us or just behind us when we came around a corner or they came around a corner and I just stopped. And I was like, hey, excuse me, like, what? It was like, just just got to ask you a quick, quick cut question. We're just trying to, you know, like solve a bet type of thing. Um, who who does she look like, like from a movie that you instantly realize from just looking at her? And he was just like, what? Like, what are we talking about? What's happening? I'm like, just movie. Just look at her. Say the movie. Look at the hair. Focus on the hair, especially. Do, 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 do. And he's just like, what is what? Like, oh, God, this is. This is a uh, backfiring. It was neither Anna Green Gables or Road to Avonlea. I just, I genuinely cannot remember what it was. Um, but it was something that was, you know, quite evident at the time. And this guy was like, yeah, no, I don't know what that is. Or then I was like, oh, I was like, it's so obviously this then. I was like, I'll just tell you and then you agree. How about that? Like, okay. And I told him and he was just like, um, no idea what you're talking about. Like, all right, that's fine. Carry on. Like, no, but if I like, no, no, we're done here. Like, I'm not starting a whole thing. This isn't a game show. And now we do the, the, the cool down process and the filling of the paperwork. I just had a dumb question. You were no help whatsoever. Yeah, go on your way. Uh, cash cab shout out, street shout out person. Like, just, just go. And, uh, and then he did. But I don't know. That's like. One of the things that I love about this place it is like I'm kind of not afraid to ask people for help or a question or whatever. People are definitely not afraid to just stop me and ask me stuff. Um, Cause I don't know, say it's not weird at all. Just, just. Uh, because Amanda was there, uh, story, uh, stopped at the bank and I was going to deposit something, but it was, you know, it's just been the holidays and everything. So I go and I'm like, oh, there's no envelopes to put the thing in to deposit the thing. And I'm looking through and each of the, the envelope slots is just filled with garbage, go to the next one. And then Amanda asks the, the old lady at the third one, like, oh, excuse me, like, is there any envelopes over there on that side? And she, uh, she didn't want to stop helping. She didn't want to, like, that's, it's great and terrible. Like, so many things in the world that are great, they are also terrible for the exact same reason. I think I had a different metaphor for it seven episodes ago, but same same sentiment applies. Like, yes, I appreciate the help, but also get out of my life now. This transaction is done. You don't You don't know what movie I'm talking about, and you don't have envelopes. So she's like... Like, oh, well, what about this? And she's, like, physically, like, digging down as best she can. And she managed to pull out, like, passbooks. Where I'm like, that's still a thing? They still have passbooks enough so that they're just, like, out here? Anyway, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I just live down the street. I can deposit this anytime. I just figured while she was going to the bank, hey, I remembered I have a thing I have to deposit. I'll do it now. But I'll do it later. It's fine. It's okay. Oh, what about over there? Well, maybe. And she was just like, there's only so many places to look. And we already looked and we're done. And she's trying to come up with some way for me to have an envelope to deposit things with. And I'm just like, it is 100% not imperative for me. Don't like, don't worry about it. And like in the nicest way, like right now I'm telling it in the like, hey, lady, get off my back. There's no need for this kind of behavior. I will uh, deposit my checks when I have the time to deposit my checks. You will, you check yourself before you are wrecked and I will cash my checks the way I do without wrecking anything. Uh, not, none of the things just like, oh no, no, thanks. No, that's, thank you so much. Like, that's fine. Do not worry about me. Like I, I, I got this covered. Like it, it's totally fine. Um, like I'll, 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 I walk by here all the time. Um, and yeah, so I was just literally just like, lady, get out of my life and get into my car. Get in the backseat, baby. Honk, honk. Um, stay out of my dreams and get into my car. Still not, can't, still not can't. Still cannot believe that that song was a big deal. Enough so that I can reference it and people will know what you're talking about. Let's do crazy eyes on this one.
Crazy goggle eyes. Did I give that last row about hair? Oh, yeah, I did. Hmm. I hear you got. But other than that, for the most part, nothing especially bananas happened. Well, one thing, not but no, still not bananas. From my perspective, definitely wicked bananas. Whole basket full. Um, just, you know, going here and there. Um, as, as I normally do, uh, we all know because I have these stories and, and you know, I catalog all the things that see, I see and hear during the day to, to, to recount to the internet uh, or to whoever stops for five minutes and then I start talking at them. Um, this. This robot hair makes no sense. I say that as if I'm being forced to do it. Um. Damn it, what was I talking about before I started uh, focusing on robot hair? <laughs> Went to the bank. Uh, man, it's not that crazy. <sighs> we definitely saw something nutty that I can't remember. No, I think I think it was mostly uh, mostly not nuts. The cra craziest ish part of the weekend, I would say, was before Amanda got here. Thought she'd be here at like around a certain time, so I was like, all right, like she's definitely gonna be here. I'll keep an eye out the many windows, uh, so I can go down and help her bring up her stuff like a nice person. And. Before right before that, the lady next door knocks on the door. I was like, hey, we're going out for like an hour. Um, is it cool if when I get back, I ask you whether or not my dogs went crazy? And I'm like, you sure can. But before you go, I have to tell you that I already know the answer is yes, they go a bit crazy. But since you've lived here, they seem to have stopped barking at me when I come in uh, to my place uh, and a few of the other noises. It Clearly, they seem to be getting used to it. So I was like, I'm, I'm going to say they're probably getting better. Um, and, uh, let's, let's hope that's it. But, you know, literally, literally immediately sweating because I'm just like, oh, I don't have to tell this person. Oh, by the way, uh, as soon as you got out of the building, they just started freaking out and they never stopped. And I'm like, I don't want to do that, but huh, I'm definitely going to have to do that. But like, no, maybe, maybe like, come on dogs, we can do this, right? We can do this together, right? We don't have to make a bunch of noise. So... Uh, I'm half blaming myself because I'm also expecting somebody. So every time the dogs did kind of start go, you know, rrr, rrr, uh, or bark once or twice, I'm like, oh, it's definitely because Amanda's here. So I go to the door like, I can't believe I missed looking out the window. Um, so I jump up and nothing. And it's like, oh, they're just barking at some noise from upstairs. Like, that's fine. That's fine. Then they would do it again. 
Um, so I'm also like trying to not be, you know, not have that nervous energy of expecting somebody. So the dogs aren't, you know, feeding off of that through the walls, if that's a thing, which I believe it is. And, um, but again, I'm still like expecting somebody, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, -na -na. let's go with a point three for fun. So they don't, did only bark a few times and I'm like, oh, this is great. But basically until this person got back, I'm like, oh, I can't, uh, hopefully just, just keep staying quiet. Just keep staying quiet. As if I'm like, I don't, I don't know, like, it's my responsibility to, it's nothing. All I'm doing is reporting the same way I look at the windows and report to you guys. This is the craziness that has happened. Uh, the noises that I've heard, somebody just wants me to tell them about the noises that I heard for once. So I'm like, all right, cool. So uh, they get back and uh, once again, I think, oh, that must be Amanda. Like, nope, they're back. Like, oh, hey, anyway, sorry, was just waiting for somebody. But uh, yeah, they were pretty good. Barked a handful of times, but only like once or twice, not uh, consecutively for uh, 45 minutes straight. And... I assume that I brought it up as I do. Hey Ed, how's it going? Um, we all live in a crazy town. Uh, I feel like this is a lesser crazy town than my other crazy town, but crazy in a different way. Crazy in a way that I understand and I can a game that I can play. Um, but yeah, oh, that's what it was. Like, yeah, I'm not sure if I asked or she asked or uh, odds are I just brought it up. But we're like, oh, hey, so it's been quiet, right? I think the one guy's gone, but the other crazy lady is still here. And she's like, yeah, I saw her too. I was like, but she was normal. She's like, she was normal to me too. I'm like, isn't that more frustrating than her being crazy? She's like, a little bit, yeah. And then I met her boyfriend, um, who I'll call Jeff, because he looked like a Jeff, and I don't remember his name again. Um, <clears throat> it'll probably come back to me. Mm, was it another mic? Anyway, it's a name that's really easy to remember, and I did not. So uh, I kept talking. I could clearly see uh, in their eyes and in their body language they wanted the stories to end and so that they could go back into their uh, apartment and watch the hockey game. And uh, I was like, but still, like, God. Um <clears throat> All right, I'll call you an effort at. Um, oh, you're talking about that guy. Uh, it was. It's either yeah, Mike, Bill, or might not Bill. Uh, uh, John, Jeff, <coughs> Jingleheimer, Schmidt. I have something to drink. Why am I doing this? This just in, just in. So. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, within me going through the, this is the stuff that I know about the building. What do you know about the building as of late? Tirade. Um, I say that, you know, oh, I, 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 yeah, it was like, these are guys are gone. And then I was telling them about the people down the stair or down, down the hallway and the, the craziness they were screaming. And I'm like, this is nuts. This is nuts. And you guys didn't hear this? Like, well, this is what I heard. And they're like, that's that's insane. I'm like, and no matter what, like, this stuff is half burned into my mind. And sometimes, like, I have to go write this down so I can tell the internet later. And she's like, oh, yeah? <clears throat> I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's what I do. And I was like, oh, I do this stuff, which is my job that I talk about all the time. But then I also, I make things and, and uh, talk about making things while I'm making things on the internet. And tell all the stories about the crazies of the building. And then she's like, <gasps> We, well, what, what about, what about me? Have, have you talked about me already? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I thought for a split second of saying, oh God, no, but it's like too late, too late. Um, she's already aware, they're already aware of it. So they could find out. So I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah, totally. I was like, I just talked about how the dogs were barking. And it's not your fault and how, you know, people in this building are crazy loud. And um, 
for the most part, I was still on the dog side. <clears throat> and she was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. Which clearly means that at least that apartment and that apartment can't hear me uh, making up random theme songs in the middle of a thought. So speaking of uh, likenesses to people who are may or may not be real, uh, like I said, one of the crazy things about Amanda is, I mean, it's a crazy thing about a lot of people in the world, but I choose not to do it anymore, and <clears throat> I just, I don't have the energy for it, but it is following having a bunch of Facebook friends who are awful, and... She's like, and that's what most of the stories are like, oh, well, this one does did this, this one did that. So she spends a good chunk of her time creeping. Like, literally, like, I got to go do some work. Like, all right, cool. Uh, I'll be in the living room creeping. All right, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Cool. I'll be over here creeping. Or I got to go to the bathroom. I'm going to be creeping on my phone. So she's just creeping through Facebook looking at what everybody's doing. And, uh, and I'm just like, I, I can't. So, like... Aside from, like, the, the craziness of other, other people, it's crazy. Like, I can see why you would keep checking it. Like, uh, she was also the person in school that was like, all right, like, let's go. Let's go look at the Gore Gallery or whatever. Like, those horrific, horrific websites that show horrific things. Like, no. Hey, look at this disease you've never heard of and you definitely never don't want to know about. Like, stop showing me these things. Let me be uh, blissfully ignorant of these atrocities. <clears throat> So, uh, Facebook is her new, uh, car crash that she checks in, uh, with all the time. And like, that's, that's too nuts. Um, for example, so this is one crazy thing about her. And then I'll, I'll kind of drift into a slight bit of the, the craziness of what she's looking at. Um, one person uh, she's following. She's like, oh, well, so-and-so is, is on there. So, you know, I uh, always see their posts. But whenever they post anything, it's always just like, here's the beach. Here's the, th you know, the place where I am. Here's, like, you know, just my shoes. Like, nothing. And, and you know, it's like, well, who are you with? Like, you know, where where is this? Like, there's not enough information. Like, there's none of things. Like, I can't I can't creep her life. I can't find out what she what her life is. And it's just like, this is not somebody that you need to. They are no way connected to your life at all at this point. Uh, so you could you could unfollow them. You could not think about it. But it's like, no, like, <clears throat> I need to know. I have access to everyone's life. Why would I not want to, to voyeurize that? I know voyeurize isn't a word, but it is now. And sometimes you keep crazies around just to know, oh, yeah, yeah, I thought I was crazy, but I can just check and I can see what the crazy level is set to uh, in the world, and I'm way below this one. Uh, so this one person, she's like, I just can't stop following this person because uh, it is. It's just it's just such a show to help remind me that, like, all right, I'm not, I'm not this awful of a human being. <clears throat> And she just kind of like just started scrolling through them and they were all like just big, big text, color background and they were like not even just like, hey, here's what's going on. Every single one was barely, you know, there was always a few words that were just like just full on, just not spelled even remotely close. In other words, they're like, you took the time to make up a new spelling of this word like you're writing how you talk. Oh, my God, this person is definitely like mm, partially illiterate, but yet their means of being a jerk in the world is just typing constantly. Uh, but it's all, every every single one is just like, ugh, like they all started and or ended with ugh. Had to do the dishes, but then, ugh, ran out of dish soap, ugh, nobody will take me to the grocery store to get more dish soap, ugh, seems like nobody cares, I guess. Guess nobody cares about me unless I'm doing something for them, like, 
lady, you just ran out of dish soap. Oh my god, like, I'm only two posts into the, the life of this person, and no, like, get me out of this Jumanji. I don't want to play this game. Uh, put the spiders back, please. And there's, like, every single one. There'll be, like, one nice one, and then 65 just... Uh, everyone's against me. Like, uh, it seems like nothing's happened. You, you're just going nuts. Um, but it sounds to me like, yeah, Facebook is is now designed for catering to it is just uh for the uh, i, I want to say the elderly but i don't mean the elderly uh but it is mostly that now where it is just just share grand grandchildren pictures and uh your trials and tribulations of getting to and from the walmart to to get your dish soap um and i think it was on colbert like they referenced uh tiktok which I thought that that was just another version of Boomerang for your Instagram or for something, but apparently it's a whole it's a whole new Facebook place. And um, and at least he said Instagram, so I'm like, all right, I'm still somewhere good because I, I don't know I don't know what TikTok is. And I'm definitely too old for us. <laughs> oh, inspirational memes. I don't know what MLMs are. Morally lugubrious moms? Oh, and Facebook is just straight up a dating app now. Or at least you have to uh, press the extra button to be like, hey, do you want to do Facebook dating? Um, guess what, Facebook? A bunch of creeps are out there already using it for that, and they're just sending stuff at random to everybody. Pyramid schemes. Uh... Another good, crazy Amanda story. Yeah, I think I already told them all on here before. Oh, this is what I was starting to say about a half hour ago when I said, this is crazy to me from my perspective. And then I uh, started drawing hair for a half hour. Uh, what was crazy from my perspective is uh, I started to say that, uh, you know, we're just going to the mall, going to wherever, getting stuff. She was picking up, she picked up a new cat, a kitten today. So we went and got uh, a litter box. It was also her birthday. So in a uh, delightful birthday bag, I put cat litter and cat food and a uh, cat litter scoop. And uh, I think it's some cat toys, something else. Oh, and little cat dishes for cat food. Um, and uh, uh, she opened it up and she's like, oh my God. She's like, yeah, I, I realized like I'm going to have to get all this stuff before I go get the cat. And I was like, yeah, I thought that. And also that it's Easter weekend, so nothing's going to be opened. Um, and you're, you're going to be driving all day, so you're not going to want to do it that day. Uh, but then uh, the stores were open on Monday, so it was fine. Um, but in the walking around, uh, on more than one uh, occasion, on more than one instance, uh, Amanda's like, um, that that woman was just fully checking you out, like 
totally just all over you, eye wise. And then she noticed that I was here and then gave me that look that said like, oh, hmm, like, sorry, didn't see you there. Like, pfft, deal with it. Uh, I could take him away from you if I wanted to. And, um, you know, uh, Amanda gave them the look of like, whatever, he's not my boyfriend. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, she said like a few times that happened. And I'm like, that's crazy. Like, that's so crazy. Like, what's up with people? That's crazy. And the other thing was that last one I did notice. Like, I didn't notice uh, my, m myself being checked out, but I did notice that it was a couple. Like, that lady was clearly with her husband and or boyfriend um, just checking people out. And, and again, just checking people out, go ahead, fine. Everyone exists. Everyone's got eyes. You're just walking through the mall. Uh, look at things. Um, but when you're going to give somebody else a, a, a look as just like, what? What? Come on, like, uh, I live in this town. I know for a fact that those same people that are just like, whoa, I was checking out your boyfriend, don't worry about it, are the same people that if Amanda had have been uh, checking out her boyfriend, she would have probably, like, got jumped. And that other lady would have been murdered in Walmart. And uh, me and Amanda all also had that discussion of, you know, it sucks. It sucks, like, that out of all the people that I know in the world, like, no offense, Pat, Space Goonie, if you murder somebody, you got to deal with that. And if you tell me about it, I, I might just have to call somebody. Uh, unless you have a really, really super good, you know, diehard, they're terrorists, I had to kill them to save my family. You need a real good story like that for me to help you. But with her, it is just like, ah, it sucks. You're like the one person in my whole entire life that's like, if and or when you do something terrible, I have to help you uh, avoid... Uh, being locked up, I have to help you get rid of that body, you know, all of those things, like, that's just, you know, there's no way, like, I can't not, like, you've established that in my life, that, like, you're you're that kind of person where, like, thankfully, there's kind of only one, and everybody else will be like, okay, I don't know, I don't know, like, you know, little Sam, I'd love, I'd love to, like, I won't rat you out, but... I'm really, really going to tr pressure you to turn yourself in or do something to make this right. I'm sorry. I can only help one person in my life get away with murder. The only one. That's it. That's my limit. All right. If I could add three or five, I, I know who they would be. But no, I'm sorry. Patrick, don't murder anybody. And if you do, I, 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 wouldn't, I, wouldn't, trust, I wouldn't trust Space Company. Sorry. All right, not with murder, okay? She's too nervous. She's too nervous. She's going to get you caught, all right? So just don't. Just don't. It's too too volatile of a situation. Space Goonie, on the other hand, if you need to murder somebody, whoa. Um, I can... I'll 99.9 .9 it, uh, but... But I'm very tempted to give a full 100 plus percent guarantee that, yeah, you can murder several people and Pat will have your back. If anything, he'll be excited for a new project that involves digging because I don't think he's had a lot of digging projects in the past few years. And, and he's always up for something different. Or, hey, have we ever thought about what we have to do to a whole entire human corpse to make squirrels uh, dispose of that body for us? Uh, and or chipmunks. That's that's a fun project. That's a fun, not a not a fun project. Don't hey internet. Somebody edit this out. Ripley, edit edit that out live. Why somehow? Thank you. You're the sweetest angel. And where we had that discussion was at Walmart while we're uh, paying for things. And in that case, it was mostly my fault if somebody did call the police. Ah, I just had it. The other somebody should call the police moment was when we were discussing out loud in public that oh no this wasn't i mean maybe 
Um, but uh, we went to the dollar store after Walmart to get some more uh, cheaper, more disposable cat stuff and, uh, and maybe some pop. And when we got to the counter, uh, at this point, this is where Amanda had a, a litter tray to poop in and um, definitely some other cat stuff. Can't remember what now, but definitely cat stuff. And uh, and she's just like kind of you know, him and Han just just very like ba most basic pleasantries of like oh getting some stuff hey yeah getting some stuff gonna ring it through oh do you need a bag with the cashier lady, and um, the cashier lady managed to say something about or mention say say the word cat or whatever like oh like it's a cat or it's a kitten or something uh, about the fact that you know what this stuff is obviously for, while. Amanda was saying something to me about the kids, like that she has kids. And uh, so I just decided to be either the greatest entertainment or the biggest jerk to the uh, dollar store lady. And I was like, oh, no, no. I was like, there's no cat. Like I looked her dead in the eyes. I was like, there's no cat uh, for this woman. Like this woman is a terrible mother and these are for her kids. And somebody should call the police. Honestly, like I won't do it because we're friends, but she's a terrible mother. And that lady, like, she'd lost, like, she loved it. That was the funniest thing uh, she'd ever heard. And Amanda Foley was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a terrible mother. Like, I, I am just, like, one step up from making them use this litter tray or whatever. And it's just like, oh, God, like, something is going to call the cops on us now. But I'm not going to take my kids away. <laughs> We have fun. We have fun. I don't know. Did have a slightly crazy story. And again, uh, as I always say in the land of Mike White, I'm really happy with this one's too, Space <laughs> I'm really, really surprised. I thought this one was not going to turn out. Um, today, uh, like maybe an hour before the stream, was like, I, I should check in on my work messages. I posted a bunch of stuff, and there's a very good chance that uh, I should have a response of, oh, these are great. Oh my God, yes, we picked number two. Number two is awesome. We picked this. Great job. You're the artist and we are the business people. Like, awesome. Um, so, you know, you, you, you get that uh, delusion of grandeur in your head uh, that you might just get an approval on your 15th try. Um, uh, but before I even look at that one, I got a message from somebody else where I'm like, oh, same deal. Uh, that artwork that was sent, excuse me, excuse me, was kind of the best thing I've ever drawn. I think I posted it again, or at least a variation of it. Um, but on my Instagram, there is this, this snake, this black mamba that I think is the best thing I've ever, like not the best thing I've ever done, but I'm super impressed with it. So I did one version and they were like, oh no, we actually wanted this version. Like, all right, fine completely redrew it a different way. They're like, oh, we actually want to add this. Okay, that kind of might not work, but I think I can figure it away. And I did a way where I'm like, this super works. Holy snaps. Uh, every time it gets gets seen, uh, the, each version at some of the work meetings, a bunch of people are like, oh my God, that's so sick. That's sick. Dog, bro, that's sick. I don't know how, I don't know how people talk. I don't know how to use the word sick, um, but people do. I've never been able to say that's sick. I'm still stuck on wicked. Um, and even that one took me a while <laughs> to get into my lexicon. Um, but yeah, so it wasn't even a like, oh, I don't like this. It was like, oh, cool. Like, this is great. Anyway, uh, once again, can we do it completely different? Like fully different pose. So like, oh my God, like this snake is like, I put so much effort into this just to look like because halfway through, I'm like, oh my God, like I'm going to do it. I'm just going to draw all the scales. I never do that. I'm going to do it. 
and it looked great. And the fact that it's like, oh god, oh, I gotta do it again. And it's it's not no offense if somebody's watching this, like it's just it's not gonna be as good as this the last one that he did. Not because I'm not gonna try as hard. Because the last version that I did was just awesome. It was just awesome. And uh, those stars are not going to align uh, a third time. It's just, or a fourth time, sorry. Third time's the charm, as they say. Fourth time is, hey, I did my best. Pfft, this is on you, dog. Use the old one, please. So, uh, so I was literally like, oh, why did I do that? Now I definitely don't feel like drawing. I can't draw. What am I doing? Uh, so I'm even extra surprised to have something that I'm even remotely happy with. Because I thought for sure, like, oh, cool. Uh, I give up. But it wasn't a, it wasn't a quality issue or a drawing issue. Just uh, some some kids are raised in a certain way to to expect what what they want and get what they expect, and no one ever tells them different. And they just say, "Hey, gimme, gimme." So then, um, oh, desert range, 3R99. No. No. You probably already left. Anyway, um, I'm not going to play uh, Troll Fight. Ooh, should we play Troll Fight? Troll Fight. Troll Fight. It's a crazy time saying crazy things. Draw Hitler. Draw wings. Draw a razor blade. Airplane, wing, mm. ran out of rhymes. Um, but why did I go off on that tangent? Because I started to tell another story, drifted away. So the other crazy story uh, from the building, uh, pre pre Amanda getting here, was. Um, All right, uh, this was a mistake. So the underwear joint connector is looking not wholesome. Um, hide that with shadows, maybe. There, a little more wholesome, maybe too dark. Markers will fix that. Um, so this just seems crazy to me. Uh, I went over to the grocery store or whatever it was. Like uh, I went down the street that way. And on the way back, I run into uh, some neighbors from downstairs that I, I recognize. I know I've talked to this woman before. I don't know her name. I'm pretty sure she moved out and then must have moved back because she lives here again. So... Um, we kind of leave the grocery store at around the same time. Uh, we're kind of walking in different sides of the road, but then eventually uh, merge onto the same sidewalk. And before that, I was just like, hey -oh, as I often do to people I recognize, um, instead of, hi, this is your name, because I don't know your name. Um, and so, dude is walking with a grocery cart, uh, bringing it back to the apartment because as I've said before here in Truro if you want to just walk home with your groceries in the grocery cart you can do that no one's going to arrest you no one's going to get upset uh, the town or somebody actually pays for a truck to drive around scoop up all of the grocery carts and bring them back to the grocery store and yes if you're not from around here but you've seen trailer park boys and you're like hey you mean like bubbles and him collecting of carts kind of but also, uh, just down the street from here is where they shot the la or a few seasons of the Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, I've lived in two separate places that were both down the street from the Trailer Park Boys trailer park. Um, so, uh, they're walking. Uh, I end up slightly ahead of the guy with her. Uh, because I, I don't I don't know him. She's saying building stuff, or I just start saying building stuff. I don't th really think I gave her a chance to talk. And uh, 
actually, no. There was no real talk. It was just, hey, are you stalking us? Or just like, are you following us? And I'm like, technically, yes, I'm 100% following you, but I will be going one floor uh, further than you. So at that point, the following is over. I was like, all right. He's like, but, you know, it might be cool to have stalkers. Like, yeah, it's always cool to have stalkers until you feel like you need to call the police. Uh, and then it's not fun anymore. Uh, so we have a good laugh at that. And then we're just kind of walking in silence. And I'm hoping or wondering, like, is it cool for me to just slow down or to speed up so that I'm not walking with these people so that I don't accidentally become friends with uh, people in my building? Because, you know, all those things that I said about everybody. Um... So, you know, whatever. This is like a six minute walk. We're three minutes into it. And she's like, oh, hey, like, are you single? And I was like, yeah, whatever. And just answered the question, not thinking there's any sort of reason, any sort of uh, motive to, to ask that question <laughs> other than, you know, um, actually, she either asked how much I pay for this apartment or if I'm single first. So either way, it was just like, I don't like the connectivity of uh, money to singleness um, here. Uh, but whatever it was, like something was said. So I thought that because of the arrangement of the questions, that the, the motive was like, oh, like, do you live by yourself? Like, is somebody else up there helping you pay for this or whatever? Um, and, and I thought I was answering that question, but it was just, Hey, are you single? Like, yeah. I'm like, huh? Yeah, me too. You should come down and hang out. What? Who does that? Who does that? You could have just you started with, Hey, do you want to come hang out with us? Uh, oh yeah. She's like, I'm single too. This is just my roommate. Like just straight off the bat. Like this is just my roommate. He's nobody. Don't worry about him. He's garbage. All right, cool. Now this got extra awkward. Also, I've seen your apartment. Uh, I don't know where this guy lives other than in half of the kitchen. Um, so technically, yeah. And I'm just like, all right, well, this is weird. So I immediately um, just start talking about anything else. Just like, oh, so anyway, and I just started talking about the building, fruit flies, this and this and that. And she's like, oh yeah, yeah. Like uh, you can use this or use that or do, you know, these other three, th these three options are basically the best for fruit flies. McGee, like, yeah, I've got three different fruit fly traps. I've got all the options going in, in my apartment right now. And for the most part, they're gone, but where do they come from? But you know, the drain, drainage system. Um, so I just kept talking about that, kept talking, kept talking. And, uh, And then spent the rest of the night 100% um, nervous that uh, there was going to be a knock at my door saying, hey, so are you going to come out and hang out now? And then I have to be like, I don't know how to say no, I don't hang out with people. No, I don't make new friends. Uh, I've got core five. I've got good friends and they're the best. So I don't need new ones who, um, you know, the, the only thing that I can remember is like stories about, hey, so my ex-boyfriend was like trying to kick my door in here. And this was like whatever, like, all right, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, your life is a little bit volatile. I don't want to. I don't, don't want to jump into that uh, that pool. And regardless, uh, to unpack that, to dig into it a little bit more. Other than the fact that I live in this building, so you've seen me, you might get the impression I'm not a serial killer. I don't, you know, whatever, kick down people's doors. Um, but we do still live in the same building. Like, that's beyond insane. Like, how well do you expect this to go if it's just like you're, you are just like, hey, let's Netflix hook up or whatever. Like, no, we live in the same building. That, that, the, 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 the ugh. The, the over overlap of lives, the interactions that will have to come into the future, like, no, you don't do that. That's irresponsible. That's just irresponsible. Um, and or what if 
what if one of us does turn out to be a maniac that beats down doors like uh, if you feel like that in the middle of the night you just go upstairs and there you are beating on the door like no no deal no deal Mostly just blown away to, again, from zero to 50. So, so easily. So just like, so anyway. I'm like, um, this is weird. Robot tank top, why not? Robot cleavage, who cares? Cause when you're drawing a robot Hitler, you gotta give him a metal mustache. And when you draw your robot Hitler, you're gonna be out on your ass because nobody wants any more Hitler. Nobody wants any more hate. Everyone's no longer cool with Nazis except that time how everyone kind of was for a little while. And there was a whole bunch of Nazis coming back and then we're like, wait, what's going on again? Isn't that old timey stuff? Like, no, this other guy's bringing them back again. So it's... Uh... So now it's no longer funny to have fun with Hitler like we used to. Hitler jokes. Hitler is a dumb character to make fun of and have fun with. What does that say? Leon. Ah, something Losa. Thanks, Leon. Thanks for the follow, Leon. You're a super cool cat. You press the follow button. And maybe... A song will follow that, and it did. That that was it. Spoiler alert. End of the song reveals what's going to happen at the beginning of the song. It's a real looper situation. But anyway, going back to the, the checking out of randos and then Amanda getting dirty looks, uh, I was like, oh, cool. I guess I realize now that, uh, yeah, that, that answers a lot of questions slash mysteries slash just weirdnesses of, you know, being somewhere randomly in town, uh, you know, just literally on the street, sitting, sitting at a piano or on a bench, not drawing, not doing anything to really draw to him. Well, playing the piano was a bit of attention, but then, you know, a few times we're just like, why does this lady, why does this girl, why does this woman keep walking by and start just a a half a convert? Just like, oh, hey, uh, uh, like just blurting out some kind of weird small talk. Like, all right, cool. Anyway, do I do I really seem that approachable? Uh, if you want to approach me, you, you do that on the internet. No such thing as grownups.com. Here's my card. Here's a postcard. Buy a book. See you later. I draw things. Um... I put those things in a book on my website. What are we what are we talking about? Um and yeah, so there's just been a few times where I'm just like, what was that all about? Like that person that person's weird. That's not how you make friends. Like, oh, that is how you like creep up on people and just be like, we're dating now. Uh in the street though. If we lived in a world where people approached people on the street and were like, all right. Hey, you want to start something? Do you want to connect these two lives in some way, shape, or form based on nothing other than I saw you standing there? And yes, I wish I could drift into the all the words that go, I saw, I saw her standing there, I saw him standing there, but I can only hear the da, 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 and not the words. Um... 
But yeah, apparently we live in a world where it is like Seinfeld, where it's just like, yeah, yeah. I was at the donut up shop. I saw some lady and I was like, hey, anyway, can I get your number? Like, that doesn't really happen, does it? And it does. It does all the time. There's clearly a bunch of people out there that are doing it and having it done to them. And I mean, good, great. That's great that people are interacting. They're not afraid. But there's a lot of weirdos out there that are just like, no, no. No, you can't have my phone number. Even like, yeah, just fix my car. All right, I'll come back. Tell me when to come back. I don't want to give you my phone number. Like, no offense. Don't drive me home. I don't want you to know where I live. And I don't want you to know my phone number. I just need my car fixed. And I don't trust you anywhere else in life except in this garage. All right, don't stab me, please. See, I have the, the not necessarily the foresight, the polite um, consideration. I have the polite consideration to know and understand and consider myself a weirdo. This is weird what I'm doing right here, and that's okay. So when I meet a new person in the world, I'm not like, hey, yeah, no, I'm normal. Uh, I also wonder about... Justin Trudeau's policies on fiscal taxation of uh, primary uh, areas of constituencies. Right? You know how we all care about that stuff? I'm also wondering about the price of coffee or stamps going up or down. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't do that. I don't do that anymore. Like there was a time in my life where I'm like, hey, I'm going to try my best to pretend to be like everybody else. But now I'm like, no, no. Hey, nice to meet you. Oh, hey. Anyway, I go on the internet and I make up theme songs uh, that usually turn out to be the uh, Rescue Rangers theme song. And uh, no, I can't sing and I'm fine with that. Uh, and then I draw things and usually put a different um, animal or dinosaur head on it. Anyway, nice to meet you. My name is Curtis. See you never. And half the time they're like, oh, that's so interesting. What up, Moxie Fox? Done punching kids, out punching fences and knocking down kids, judo flipping bitches, and mm, I don't know, kicking people's shits. Judo throw, judo throw, you don't know about the judo throw. You mess with me, it's too late you see, cause you're on the ground. Cause you've been judo thrown down. Cause you didn't know about the judo throw. Cause you don't go to the judo show. Watching your YouTubes and your Instagrams of the new geese and Dodge Rams. Judo people love Dodge Rams. Beating up Mr. Beating up Mel? Oh my god. Mel has tiny bones of a bird. It's like beating up a bird. I saw a little lady sitting there in the class. I asked her, her name and then I said, excuse me, can I beat your ass? Hey Mel, can I break your leg? I know it's just training, but I have to beg. If I can throw you in the air like a bean bag, oh Mel. Gonna beat you to hell. But it's just for fun. Sorry about the smell. Judo people smell like sweat. Just a fact. I snapped your burn bones and I didn't care. I threw your corpse all the way through the air. I'm a maniac. Moxie Fox the maniac. You said she can take it and she said okay. 
But she didn't know about your crazy way, you're off balance. You accidentally threw her into a balance. Mm. Sorry, too busy thinking about picking colors over here. Um, what did I do last time? Blue robot or purple robot or gray? Pink robot was last week. Therefore, this week's robot shall be blue. Blue daba dio daba daba debo. Or no, I always do purple. And as always, if you're drawing robots at home, make sure to leave a big space of white. Sure, your mom would be like, hey, hey, you little turd, you didn't finish coloring your picture. No dessert for you or supper. But you and I will know, hey, mom, those are shinies. I call them shinies because uh, they let your, um, your light shine in. She hates, uh, oh, oh no. Too much marker there, made it bleed. Finish what? Finish the picture? Finish the song? The rock opera? And then several weeks had passed. In the class of kicking ass. And Moxie Fox didn't know that Mel was practicing at home. And then one fateful day, Moxie Fox said, Come over, let's play. And she thought she'd get everything her way. But it was different. Mel pulled out some nunchucks. <laughs> Oh, that old thing. So maybe it was you that used to say that? I feel like in... Like, a man, Crazy Amanda from the first half of the show would say that. And uh, I want to say there was at least one art, sc art, art school, uh, high school art teacher, or... I think it was actually junior high, who, yeah, who definitely said that there's, there can be no white on the paper. If there's white on the paper, it's because you painted it there on top of all the other white after the fact. Like, what? No. No. But shiny. But shiny. See fashion design drawings and it's all shiny and I love that. Um, But then I was also told, like, oh, let's do some watercolor. Like, learn some watercolor. Watercolor painting with watercolor. Like, awesome. And at one point, we had, like, this watercolor. This watercolor our, our teacher was, like, the artist of the province. Like, he was he was the deal. And the stuff that he did was amazing, amazing, amazing. And uh, between him and a few of the other high school art teachers, every time we did watercolor was hey no white nobody uses white paint white paint doesn't exist in uh watercolor you use the white of the paper or nothing at all or get out you're, you're a failure if you have to add white later on you failed you plan you plan ahead to leave that white you use masking fluid you put that on there you take that off later i've never once in my life used masking masking fluid and i've also definitely painted white uh, over top of things. But when I go and watch the Instagram drawing and people making stuff on Facebook or streams, uh, I now know that uh, everyone draws the white in later. 
every single person in the world draws whatever, and then they go in with white and add all kinds of white um, on top of it. Well, I was over here not using white like a sucker. Hmm, how do I pronounce that? My, my, oh wait, no, am hype beast. I was gonna pronounce that my, 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 me, he? Mr. Hype Beast, what up? I don't know why that says desert no. Desert no? This is, it's a robot? What if I, let's get a little closer here. There we go, focus. See, it's a robot lady. It's a lady that's a robot. Oh, wait, there's a delay. You're probably talking about not having your dessert. Until you finish your, finish your picture. Because you're better at paying attention to me than I am of paying attention to myself. That's fine. <laughs> That's what I do, Mr. Hype Beast. Or Miss Hype Beast. I don't know what the M stands for. Mike the Hype Beast. Mademoiselle Hype Beast. Mephisto, the Beast of Hype. Gathering minions, more than you'd think, to hype up your things, to make a big stink. When the M Hype Beast rears its head, Oh, you wish that you were dead, because you have not the hype to compare to theirs. You're just eating porridge with a couple of bears. Rare to things. But in my house, if you keep your shinies intact, then you get desserts. That's the hype that you can believe in. <laughs> if there's dessert around that I can provide, or you can give me some time to go get desserts, I will, I will provide dessert for shiny artwork. Cause I met him in a swamp down in Dagobah Where it bubbles all the time like a giant carbonated soda S-O-D-A Soda Robot feet, hey robot feet. Nothing could beat these robot feet. And then once you've used your light blue and then you've used your dark blue, take your light blue again and then use that to uh, blend a little bit. A little bit of blending. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're using a little, losing a little bit of shine, but the majesty of the blending Rounding it out a little bit more. Does it look more impressive in real life than it does on camera? Yes. Yes, it does. Speaking of word association, 
um, or speaking from word association, let's drift from blue. So we got like a blue uh, Smurfette robot here. And uh, I was watching some internet show that had some trivia in it. Don't remember what. But they brought up some Smurf facts that went... Hmm... That um, Pe Peo, Peo, I believe it was his name, who uh, created, invented, uh, oversaw the existence of the Smurfs. He was extremely sexist, apparently. So the reason there's just a Smurfette and eventually like three other female Smurfs um, was because Peo really didn't see any reason to have uh, a woman around. This was kind of a perfect society where all the guys each have their specific uh, personality slash job and then there's a Smurfette. So they would say like, hey, like Peo, like you gotta come up with something for Smurfette to do. You know, you need more for her to do. She can't just be there. It's like, what do you mean? Like she's doing, she's already doing everything she's supposed to do. Like she's there to, um, uh, he didn't just say to distract the men, but it's like, but that's that's what women do, right? Like, she does what women do. She's there to basically get in the way of all of these male characters' life. And they were like, ugh, like, we gotta find a way. <laughs> He's like, what, what, do you, what should she do? Should she be a gym teacher? Is that what you're saying? Should I make her a gym teacher? And, uh, that's, I don't know, disturbing. It, it, it. I mean, not that I can go back and watch Smurfs anyway and be like, oh, yeah, like, no, Smurfs was great. Smurfs was uh, still fairly terrible, I'm sure. Uh, I, I remember loving it as a kid, but at the same time, like, I don't need to rewatch these episodes. This isn't um, entertaining. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure there was at least one episode where she was like, I should just go back to Gargamel. Uh, at least at least he wanted me for something. <laughs> uh, what do I want here? A little bit of blue. Boop. There really should be a special new Smurf special that is just an apology video. That's it. It was different back then, they said. There was no me too. It was just, it's just us. Hey, not you, just us. And we decide, not, no you. You can be a gym teacher in the cartoon or get out of here. 
And when the napping starts, we're blaming you. Um, let's do a gray background. And then we add some water. Boop. Just because I like that nice blotchy watercolory texture on things. Sometimes, but not always. There, Joanna Five is alive. And that's been Dosage Things, Growing Ups, Drawing Robots and Things. I uh, wonder if I. Come on now, focus. Focus. You can pretty much see it. Oh, definitely looks way better in real life. <laughs> and as always, if you're new to the stream, follow No Such Thing as Grown Ups on Instagram to see the uh, picture version, Instagram version of this, and also for all of the updates of when I'll be streaming. When there's a new podcast, uh, there is two ready to go, or almost ready to go, that I need to edit and make ready to go, but they exist. And uh, I should do that now, but I'll probably go to sleep. Um, how dare you try to guess somebody's name? Why don't you just try and guess somebody's age and weight as well? So offensive. 
Anyway, this is Betty the Robot, and we are done. <laughs> right, boy? You ready for all those sweet, sweet credits? Yeah, you are. Um, as always, uh, every Tuesday, see you next Tuesday. We'll draw some more things. Thanks for uh, hanging out, listening to stories, and um, uh, supporting the Fanta Corporation, Coca-Cola Corporation, and their Fanta products. Uh, next time we'll play some Countdown for sure. Uh, but I'm, I'm out of energy for today. All done. Um, check my cheat sheet. I don't know why I still don't remember this, but credits button is three. Good night, everybody. <laughs> I know a robot, she's 103. Her name is Betty and she weighs 6,000 pounds. That's like two tons plus a little more. Wait, no. How much is a ton? 2,000 pounds? 1,000 pounds. Anyway, she's a big old robot. Everybody go to sleep. Or enjoy your YouTube shows. There's a dog barking in the distance now. Also, the neighbor outside clearly got his new speakers, and I hate him. Oh, I hate him so much.